Hi, now in this video, we are going to talk about why blockchain is immutable. Definitely, when we discussed about the definition of blockchain, we discussed that blockchain is a distributed immutable ledger, right? Now, let us see why blockchain is immutable with the help of an example. So, let's say this is you, okay, who wants to buy a house, okay? Now, in order to buy this house, definitely you require money as well as you need to sign a contract with the party with the with whom you are buying this house right so let's say this is this house is belonging to party b and now you want to buy this house from this party b so you need to sign a contract right and now you will take this sales deed contract and present it to the government so you will go to the government officials saying that okay this is a contract that i have signed with party b and now this house this house title belongs to me title means uh, for now you can think of it as the, the name of this house for now just take uh, just assume that title is the name of the house and you are saying that okay now this house belongs to me since i have given party b this money and now i have all the documentations and everything so now this house belongs to me so you will present this these facts to the uh, this contract not facts actually you will present this contract to the government institution now after receiving this information institution the government institution will record all the important information over a file over a register or they can also use a centralized database means they can also use computer in order to so uh, in order to store all the information related to your uh, related to your contract related to your title of the house now the problem with this approach is that anyone can change record of this register right because this register is nothing but uh, government institution has just written some uh, data on a paper so now anybody can change the record in this register if we talk about centralized database definitely in centralized database since database is centralized in nature anybody any hacker can also uh, make changes to this centralized database or the government of uh, or if the government is corrupted in that case they can also make changes to this centralized database and once this is done you will be in trouble right because this file this file is actually stating that this house belongs to you but if someone is changing the fact someone is changing the information in this file in that case this house will not belong to you and there are so many cases that has happened before and and still these type of things occur where the person who has bought this house has no authority over the house just because there was some mistakes given or there was some changes in the government documentation. So you do not want to lead up in such type of trouble, right? Because if you will, if you will be in such type of situation, then your situation will be like this, right? Because you have invested so much money in your house. So in order to prevent from this situation, what we can do is we can use blockchain, which is an immutable ledger. So let's say uh, this transaction, uh, this data that you are buying this house is stored on blockchain. So this data is stored on, let's say, block C. Okay. And now someone hacked this block C because we are assuming that, okay, blockchain can also be hacked. Someone is trying to manipulate the data means manipulate the data that this house belongs to you in this block C. So this hacker is trying to manipulate this block C since this block C con is containing the data that the house belongs to you. Now, if the hacker will try to hack this block, trying to change this block data, the blocks that are after C will also get affected. Why? It's very simple. If you have watched my previous video where, where I discussed that the new block consists of the hash of the previous block, right? So this D will consist of the hash of block C in its previous hash field similarly for e and f right so once this block will get corrupted the data in d e f will also get corrupted right and if you do not remember let me show you the uh, presentation from our previous slide so here you can see that that this is our block number let's let's assume that this is our block number d this is this is our block number c someone is trying to change the data in block number c and if let's say someone is trying to change the data in block number c then the hash of this block will change why because these different fields are being used in order to get this hash right and this also we have discussed in the shard 2 v6 algorithm video so this hash will get changed and since this hash will get changed the this this block number two that is our d block is also having the hash of this block right so if this will change then this will change and since this will change the hash of this will change and since the hash here will change then definitely again you can see the 
domino effect here right now the previous hash of this will change and the hash will change so in this way the all the blocks that are coming after c will get changed and by this the network the distributed network of blockchain will know that there is some issue with the blockchain as we discussed also this right that our blockchain is a distributed immutable ledger so if we are assuming that this is our blockchain okay this is our p2p network of blockchain we will discuss about p2p network in our upcoming video but for now this is our p2p network right and here you can see that uh, this block is getting affected now once this block will get affected the people this this block will also get affected and the people who has the correct copy of the blockchain will get to know that there are some issue with the blockchain of a and what they will do is they will correct these changes because they have the correct copy of the blockchain okay and this is why blockchain is immutable in nature right so this is why blockchain is immutable in nature because if you are going to change any block this change in one block will affect the rest of the blocks now some of you might be thinking that what will happen if someone tries to change the first block right and we will talk about this case also in our upcoming video so don't worry about it and uh, yeah this first and last block also right so don't worry about it we are going to talk about this in our upcoming video because this is a concept which is not not which is not the part of this video but now for now you have must have understood if someone tries to change the data of middle of the blocks or the blocks that are coming in between some blocks in that case how immutability will take place in blockchain so i hope you liked this video if you have liked this video please click on that like button if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel because I'm regularly going to upload new and latest video on blockchain. This is our Instagram ID. You can join this. You can talk to me directly there or you can also join our Discord, which is the blockchain developer community. We are 2000 plus members are there at the time of recording this video. You can join that also in order to solve your doubts and in order to make connections. So meet you soon in the next video. If you have any doubts, please leave a comment below. Bye-bye.